with you at table side, and we start things in the middleweight division. And unusually, Captain Scarlet. This bantamweight legend steps up to the middleweights. Rogers is able to do so. 5'6", 49 years of age. The man from Standish in Wigan, England, is an animal. The former Arm Wars champion of the world. His opponent is an outright middleweight, the General Hendrik Nentjes. It's from Urk, Netherlands, far bigger at 6 feet and 89 kilograms. This man is the Dutch national number three. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. Hendrik Nentjes tries to collect his thoughts before this match. The pressure is really on the bigger man because the man he faces is a freak. Steve Rogers may be slight of stature for the man he's about to face. He's an outright middleweight, but I can tell you this. Rogers go. belies his power. This man is awesomely strong. Little running foul early from Hendrik Nentjes as he tries to get a grip with the awesome power of Steve Rogers. And the world bantamweight champion for so many years proves exactly why. Shortens the lever, turns the match in the hook, and from there, that leverage advantage of Steve Rogers went straight to work and he opens his account with a win. Shoulder pain from Rogers there early, you can see. Maynard Nentjes advising his brother. Now Rogers again with a low grip will try and shorten the range, shorten the lever. And he goes straight to that hook, that yes! massive bicep and tricep doing the work. And Rogers, what an incredible champion this man has been throughout his career. And he steps up two weight classes here to the middleweights. Remember this man, a, a bantam weight. Versus Goliath for real. But it is over, yes. Definitely going to try top roll now, so watch out. Well, the later Jack, Jack, roll over there. The advice from Maynard Nentjes to open up Steve Rogers, get to the back of the pad. Use that superior leverage. Does size matter? Not in the first two rounds. Steve Rogers is no ordinary bantamweight, however. This man is brutally strong, and he changes up the technique stunningly there. Steve Rogers is at three with ease. What an incredible little athlete this man is. Look at this on the replay. Sets like he's going to drag hook, and then off the start, sweeps the back pressure. Counter top roll totally surprises Hendrik Nentjes. The experience of Rogers is so evident here. Pak hem dan op zijn sterke punt. Lek u ook. Kort. Als je maar kort aan en niet achter u gewoon. Ielemo kort erop. Dan kun je niet die draai maken namelijk. Emotions running high in the corner of the Dutchman. His brother, Maynard Nentjes, one of the most intense arm wrestlers on the circuit. And another one <clears throat> is that man, Steve Rogers. Rogers, such an aggressive character. On and off the table, but he has hand dominance here. Hendrik Nentjes running out of there, will get to the strap and does so. Wanted to get to the strap earlier in the match, was unable to get through Rogers' hand, and even then had to bail his own grip, and he's ended up deep in the hook again. And it's all about the power. Rogers comes forward, shaking with the effort. But how is this little man able to mix it up with the middleweights? And Hendrik is on the running foul. Such is the power of Steve Rogers, as he's shaking, trying to hang on to Rogers at the base. Unbelievable war. These men are on the red. 
red line. Steve Rogers with the win. Rogers with the win and goes to four. How much did that take out of the man from Standish in Wigan, England? When the history of arm wrestling is written, this man's name will be etched in stone. Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, breathing heavily, looks much more relaxed. You do wonder whether he did himself some damage there or whether the bleed went in. Frustrated there, no attempt to grip from Hendrik Nentjes. Rogers so powerful, but he may have done damage there. Hendrik Nentjes drove through him. And that was excellent from the Dutchman. Look at this. Off the start, watch this change. He carves in, keeps the height, and then utilizes the tricep. Shocking Steve Rogers there. Rogers doesn't seem concerned about that, and you do wonder whether, now that the job's done, Rogers is a little more relaxed. Worked very hard in the front four. Ready, go. On the way we go. The endurance card played hard. 